morning. It is a Friday, which is usually my favorite, but today is not starting out too well. We were supposed to pour a big driveway that we set up a couple days ago today. All week long, they were saying Friday was going to be a great day, like mid-70s and sunny and beautiful. Uh, and then last night, they started to say that there was a chance for showers. So that got me nervous. And this morning, I've been up for a long time already watching the radar, trying to make a decision. I was going back and forth. Should we pour it? Should we not pour it? And then I got a text message from one of my guys saying that he was sick and not coming in. I really need all my guys for this. So I'm not going to pour the concrete. It was a combination of the weather and then one of my best finishers calling in sick. So I don't know what we're going to do today. I'm going to scramble, try to make a phone call to a customer that I know has a patio area that's ready to be set up. Hopefully I can get a hold of him, uh, but we'll see what happens. And uh, I'm really hoping that things turn around next week and get a little bit better. I've just had, you know, one thing after another. And, you know, the reason I mention that and say things like that, I know people are like, oh, stop complaining. I'm not complaining. You know, I just go through my days and I share with you uh, my days and the things that I go through, the, the struggles that, um, you know, are typical for a contractor. And uh, I know there's a lot of people that relate to that, a lot of contractors out there because they email me and stuff. And they're like, man, I know how you feel. So anyways, we're going to get to work. Uh, I'm going to take the trash out. Look at how much garbage I even make in my office. Absolutely ridiculous around here. So we're going to take that all out. We'll go meet up with Scott and then we'll get to work and see what happens today. I don't even know myself. Our garbage just gets so full every day that I have a hard time getting out of the container. That's why I usually start the video right about here so you don't see me struggling to pull it out. How much garbage do we make? See my lawnmower is missing. I have a friend, he does lawn care and his mower broke down and he's having trouble getting it fixed or finding a new one. So he's borrowing mine for now. Share with you guys something funny. So every once in a while when I come home, I'll do a burnout in the driveway. I don't know why the kids like it. I like burnouts. I think every every good American man likes to do a burnout once in a while. But my son likes to, uh, he likes to play police officer. He's six years old. And when I came home yesterday, he gave me this ticket. <laughs> It said, there are too many burnouts in my driveway. You need to stop this. Do not do. <laughs> so I guess I got to stop doing burnouts in the driveway. That's so funny. So I just got done calling concrete. I canceled the concrete for today. And the next time I can get it is next week, Wednesday. So I have to talk to the customer. What we're going to do is go to the job because there's a lip going into the driveway obviously it's a five inch thick driveway so there's a five inch lip at the road five inch lip at the garage i don't want to inconvenience them for this long so i'm going to run over there with some plywood make a little ramp so they can get in their driveway and use the driveway over the weekend and while they wait this is just one of those things that could irritate a customer um, but i'm going to go over there and try to smooth it out it's just uh you know something that i can't help but sometimes people don't understand things like that even if it's the weather obviously something that you don't control but you try to keep your customer relations in good shape you don't want to get on a customer's bad side because when that happens then when you do the job they're looking for something to be negative about during the whole process so if there's any flaw in the concrete they're looking for it and they're going to find it uh, the smallest thing and then you can really it can end up being a big problem so always keep a good relationship even when something like this happens do whatever it takes to you know keep them on your good side all right i'm just pulling up the quick trip it's 5 54. daryl jr just texted me said they're already at the yard it's not even six o'clock yet <sighs> i don't get it sometimes they're late sometimes they're early sometimes they don't show up at all Let's go say hi to all our friends. It's funny, I know everybody's name. The store manager, Dwayne, yeah, Lisa, Ms. Z, Christine. Of course, our friends, Scott and Jewel. Morning, Scott. Morning. I caught you. I see you running away from me. Uh, that's <laughs> 
Oh, can't have Dr. Pepper. I cut out the Dr. Pepper. Be about an hour and a half. Where are you going to the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> Morning, Dwayne. Hey, Ryan, how's it going? Good. Morning, Ms. Z. How is Ryan today? All right, how are you? I'm doing good. Ooh, ooh. It's your day again. <laughs> These yogurts never scan, so whenever you get it, you get excited. Yeah. If you can enjoy the little things in your life, you're gonna have a joyful life, bottom line. Most definitely, and less wrinkles. No. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have you have day. a lovely day. Yeah. Yeah. Don't mean no harm, obviously. What's up? Oh, yeah, you're bigger than me. Listen, I, I ate something last night, yesterday. I had a flat this morning when I got off of work. Here's a hunter. Keep the change. Are you serious? Yeah. Have a good day. Dude, are you serious? Yes, sir. There's just little things like that that I do that I don't show on the regular channel because I just get criticized for it. They're like, oh, you're just showing off. Uh, you're just doing that for views. No, it's just part of my life. So I stop showing stuff like that. I'll show it on this one, but that's why I don't do stuff like that very often. If you were wondering on the regular channel, I shouldn't say I don't do stuff. I don't show stuff like that anymore or very very little i was doing some last year but like i said people are just so critical and it just frustrates me so i just stopped showing it all right it's 605 pulling into the yard and daryl's here and daryl jr is here i text him early this morning daryl jr that is i said sorry i really don't need you today we're not pouring but he showed showed up anyway so yesterday we took several hours and we cleaned up the yard got everything reorganized reorganized all the trucks filled everything up with fuel just straightened everything up it was getting kind of messy again so we're ready for the second half of the year morning you ready <laughs> Wow! What? You look so young! I look so young? Yeah! Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's because I, I trim my beard. That's because I lost uh, another 10 pounds. I get to trim my beard every 10 pounds I lose. Ew! Yeah. You need to trim your beard. You're looking a little scruffy there. What's your dad doing? My daddy won. <laughs> he looks like he's dead. I know. I'm like Richard Bobby. <laughs> I'm not. Not one of the guys had to leave at 1 30 today. Eric. Oh, come on. It's kind of Friday in this. I know. Always a gamble. The concrete game. So, always a. What did you say? Always a gamble in the concrete game. It is. It's always a gamble. I got the dumpster people coming to exchange this next Tuesday. We make a lot of garbage here. We make a lot of garbage here. I know. Look at this. I, I should count how many times we fill it up through the year. It's a lot. What are you doing, man? Oh, your new shoes. Wow. Yeah, they look great. All right, we're just waiting for Eric and Francisco. I did want to mention that since I was standing by my salt bin, I ended up bidding on some more snow plowing. I know last year I kind of got out of most of my snow plowing but I had a uh, I had a place that I used to plow contact me and basically let me know that if I wanted the contract again it, it was mine and they told me what they were willing to pay the maximum which was pretty good so I decided to go ahead and bid on it Eric's here so this winter we'll have a little bit more snow content Hold on. What's no up? Today. I'm gonna hook up, hook, line me up to this trailer. I gotta put the hitch in. Give me a minute. I already know what you're gonna be doing tonight. You're gonna be sending me stuff from Facebook Marketplace, right? Yeah. Yeah, I knew it. Yeah. Buy this truck. Buy that truck. Yeah. That's something that Daryl. Yeah. That's something Daryl loves to do. He always wants me to buy stuff. He sends me links for 
from Facebook Marketplace all the time. Mostly like trucks, houses, apartment complexes, buildings. He literally spends millions and millions of dollars every week of my money in his mind. <laughs> I gotta take a picture of Daryl with the timestamp on it. That way when Daryl puts six o'clock on his time card, because he was here at six, I can show him the picture from 625 when he was sleeping in his pickup truck morning. So right, Hogan. Go Kingo! Victory. <laughs> Victory. You know, I made no money this week. I literally had no income this week. We didn't finish the big driveway. We didn't finish any work this week. We did nothing. Marcel's not coming. Oh, he's not? No. He said he's got a tummy ache. Oh, I got a tummy ache. Yeah. <laughs> wow. You saw it? Wow. I hope Marcel doesn't watch that part of the video. Yeah, he's gonna poop. <laughs> yep. Pow! Pow! You're gonna have to get fake teeth just like your dad. <laughs> yeah, right. Look here, my windshield, there's a drop already. Just grab some blocking and make a nice ramp going in here with the plywood. We'll take take the caution tape down and then we'll do the same thing on the top. It's really cloudy, it's dark, it looks like it's gonna rain too. There was a couple drops on the windshield. Man, I feel so bad. This guy left Gatorade out for us because he knew we were going to be pouring. <sighs> I'm going to try to call him. Here's another tip. If you have an issue on a job with a customer, don't text them and say, this is the problem, blah, blah, blah. Give them a call because the tone of your voice makes all the difference. You can really smooth, that's really just in general in life. Um, you know talk to people don't text people especially if you're angry or they're angry always talk to them all right even though it's seven o'clock i'm gonna call them hey this is ryan from victory sorry to call you so early yeah everything's ready to go it's just a matter of getting the right weather now i did order it for thursday too so i got it wednesday and thursday so i have a backup day just in case wednesday is bad so all right have a good weekend yeah bye <sighs> Time lapse, Daryl. <laughs> Daryl's time lapse and us putting a ramp in. <laughs> like it's all like it's all exciting. Yeah, both garage doors. Grab a whole bunch of wood. Not one at a time, though, please. But you grab a little four footer. That's good. Now Daryl's expecting me to make this time lapse exciting. Daryl, you need me to make this time lapse exciting now? I'll put some like serious music to it, like da da da. <laughs> Daryl's trying to stay useful. He's trying to earn his keep. He's trying to earn your keep? You working hard today, boss? Not exactly. Not as hard as I'd like to be. Good work, guys. Wow. Yeah, I'm tired oh, now. Yeah. I'm tired now. All right, well, that wraps up this job for today. <laughs> <laughs> hey, boss. <What>? Yeah. <laughs> yep, that wraps. Right. Right, making sorry. progress today just <laughs> knocking stuff out yeah. yep yeah, okay. that's right yeah. here's the little thing yeah, hello how to make the best of it and big money already this morning <laughs> hey why i just untied that bro no, wait, no. Oh, you don't need it. they gotta drive in and out that's the whole reason that we just came <laughs> he here he put it back uh, on. yeah daryl's yeah. dark but most of it's grease <laughs> yes it is yes it is it's ground in grease and dirt Ryan, the guy? He's like, look at my tan. He's like, oh, come on. Uh, we're going back to the yard. I'm gonna call the guy on the way back there. Hey. 7:15 now, so. Good morning. Hey, how's it going? Good. How you doing? Good. I figured it was time to do something with that egg. Yeah, it's been like that for a while. I don't think it's gonna rain a lot, but I think it's gonna rain enough. I mean, do you know how nervous I would be right now? Oh. Starting to drizzle and out. 7:30 concrete would be on the road. Yeah. 
You know how nervous I would be? I'd be really crabby on the job right now, right? Oh uh, yeah, I know. You wouldn't be crabby. <laughs> yeah, oh crabby. yes I would. I was like, I understand. I would be crabby. Alright, we're back at the yard. I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab this dump truck. We're gonna take the skid loader. Daryl's gonna bring the Mac and we're gonna put gravel in uh, a little turnaround area for my friend. It's pretty cool he called, you know, gave us something to do. God always provides. Look at how much work always. gave you when you first started out. I know. God always provides everything I need. He's gonna smash my new truck. Daryl, this isn't the Crown Vic. You can open your own door. Can you help me out? You're not this? a king, you know? Can you help me? All right, Daryl's gonna take the Mac. I'm gonna take this with the skid loader. We're gonna head over there to my friend's house. Do a little work for him. And then we'll see what time it is. We'll head over to that other patio if that works out today. But at least we got something. At least we got something. Right. And something is better than nothing. That's right. Yep. Thankful for anything. Yeah. Hey, you know where that good fish tape is? The, what? the fish tape. Fish. For pulling wire? In here. This one? Yeah. I, I knew I had another one. This one should be together. Yep, this one's good. All right, we just rolled up here to my friend's house. You guys have seen this place over and over again. And I have seen this place a lot. I have spent a lot of time on this property. He keeps getting new projects for me. He actually asked me to do another big project for him here, but I'm not sure I want to do it. He wants to put an addition on his house. He wants me to dig the foundation and do the footing and the block, which I'm able to do. But I'm really the only guy around here that knows how to do block work and stuff. And I'm just not sure that it's going to be profitable for me. So for now, I told him no, but I might change my mind. We'll see. That was pretty cool, though. I was trying to scrape something together for us to do. I was hoping that other patio would work out. And then, boom, I get a text message as we're driving back to the yard. Yes! All right! That's why they pulled it out for us. Yeah, right. Isn't that thing huge? No, actually what happened is I told Frank I'd come here and finish this for him, but I trade him even up for the boat. Oh, so yeah. pulled the boat out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just take a few of my tube behind that. Man, <laughs> look, at, look, look, look at yeah. this boat. I love Frank's boat. I don't know how long that thing is, but it's huge. 46. 46 foot. 46 foot boat. Wow. So you're going to do pots? I think I'm going to do pots. I think you should do pots. I, it's going to freeze. Yeah. So I'll just, I'm just going to put gravel in here then. Yeah. And then you can just put, you know, dig your pots in or whatever. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, we're going to do the, we're going to put the wire in, fill it with gravel, get some blocks and finish the blocks. Let's get this through. It's going to be easier to send it from the other way, I think. All right. I'm sending the fish tape through the conduit. The other end is up there. I did this driveway, so we put this in knowing that he was eventually going to put a pond in. But it's been, it's been several years now. He's finally getting around to it. Put your eyeball by the tube so you can see when it's coming. <laughs> I was just kidding, Daryl. Pokes you right in the eye. All right, well, that was easy. We just got to pull it through, which should be pretty easy because I put pretty good sized conduit one inch in there a lot of guys put half inch super hard to pull anything through there so we're going to finish off this wall and we're going to fill this with gravel and then top it with this this stone i don't even know what you call this stuff and i don't know where he got it but we're going to need some more so it should be pretty easy have to go get more block though because we're way way short if i would have done this i would have put the wall on the inside of the driveway i went to put it on the driveway but we're going to finish it off for him either way. Think it'll pull right through? I think so. Oh yeah, it'll pull right through. It's going to be easy. All right, should be coming out any second. There it is. 
There it is. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Is that Frank's bowl too? Yes, sir. Yeah. You buy it? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, we should buy it. Should I so that's why they got it all right. It, didn't, it would need to get rewrapped though, victory style. Oh, that would be so uh, <laughs> <It's air laughs> so Come on, you guys. I don't have that kind of money. Stop. Hey. No, I don't. I really don't. American all flag. victory, American. Victory. Ooh. So and have sick. all our pictures down the side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. And then when I fire guys, I'll just put an X through them. Yeah. No, yours would just have to be magnetic so I could just take it on and off <laughs> as I fire and hire you. <laughs> yeah, they'll EM ourselves. Like, Daryl's gone today. All right, oh, that worked good. Right? Daryl, you can scoop out of the bobcat okay. and then just, just bring it around the bowl carefully. Yep. And then uh, you guys can fill it. I would say fill it with gravel to the middle of this course. All right, he left his fountain and everything over here and fountain light set. You can have LED lights. I'm not gonna do that part. 28, 29, 30, 31. I'll get 32. We'll have a couple extra just in case we mess up one of the cuts here. I'm going to have you come with me to get the blocks. Eric and Daryl can stay here. I'm going to have to talk to Daryl about operating the skid steer right around the side of this boat, yeah, though. Yep. We're going to have to have a little discussion right now off to the side. Man, it's all, it's all airbrush. Man. That's so cool. Look at the little frogs. You see the gorilla? Yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool. So you're going to be operating this bobcat uh -huh. in a close vicinity to this boat. Uh-huh. Okay. You're going to come right down the side here. Uh-huh. Really close to this. Uh-huh. Do not hit this boat. No, I'm 100% serious. If you touch this boat, you're fired forever. I'm Never to be hired back. Boat. Trust okay, me. all right. All right. Please don't hit the boat. I, will. I, I got I got enough bad stuff happening already. I don't need that. I oh, uh don't hit this car. Yep. And do not hit that pickup either. Ready, Pancho? Yes. Okie dokie. Eric, pick up the paint a little bit. Monards are Crestone beveled in Siena. Uh, I need 33. That's, that's that can't be right. $44 for 33 blocks. Are they a special or something? Really? All right, that's cheap. I'm gonna charge a customer a thousand. No, I'm just kidding. This way, that's cheap, man. How much was it? $44 oh, wait. for 33 blocks. That's Why are they so cheap? I thought it was like around two something. Yeah, I thought maybe a couple hundred bucks. Yeah. Oh, hey, Bruce. How's it going? Good. How are you? I just pulled over. I said, I want to see if those guys do mud jacking. I'm just curious. And then no. Victory services. I know that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. How's it going? Very easy. Easy money. Yeah, it's one of the lines I use, you know, easy money. All right. Hi, Julie. Can there you, you see go. me here? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just out here for the easy money right now. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yep. Super good guy. His name is Bruce. Very, very good guy. Good family. I got to read the label. Look, I should have brought a block. I wasn't yeah, smart. Was really... I wasn't smart enough to bring a block because I don't know that these are labeled. I'm going to have to ask somebody. There's got to be more somewhere. It's none of those for sure. I found them. All right, we got them here. Frank just sent me a message that said your guy is sleeping on the job. It's Junior, he sent me a picture. Look at Junior, look at Junior sleeping. Look at, no way. <laughs> Sitting up, sleeping on the trailer. Oh, really? <laughs> We're just coming back in, but Autumn's oh, here. Hello. Hi. Come join us. Yeah, come join Sorry. us. Look, Look, he dropped gravel on the whole driveway. Now we got to sweep the whole driveway. Ay, ay, ay. 
Look how Eric cut that block. Man, that's ugly. Wow, Eric. <laughs> Once you dump that back in the dump truck, come by the side of the form truck so we can load them block. Well, good morning. You're late. <laughs> Daryl, I was getting everyone's checks so they'd all be happy because it's Friday. Wow. What? Hey, boss. Yeah. You didn't fall asleep when you were on this trailer, did you? Nope, I didn't. Not at all? Nope. Okay, so you just been busy doing the videoing? Yep, had a time lapse. Yeah. I did a couple full so yeah. I'm Eric playing with yeah. it for a little bit. Okay, I just want to make sure you weren't sleeping. Hello guys, it's Eric here. You're over there sleeping. Here. Junior. Daryl the second. Daryl the second. The, hey, the, the lady came out here and took a picture of him sleeping. <laughs> so I got a picture. That's funny. Yeah, I know. Wow. Uh oh, wait, I gotta check the mix. <laughs> In the mix. <laughs> Eric used to be a DJ. Yeah. Did you know that? I got my, I don't my, even my, know what that is. You don't know DJ? what a DJ is? Oh. <sighs> Eric, we're gonna have to show our old school video of you. What did you do with Francisco? Oh, I forgot I'm at Menards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not like these take very long to do. That's like one of the only things I've ever bought in recently where I've said, that's pretty cheap. It is, dude. It really is. Wow. How are you cutting with the saw blade like that? Well, I thought it was okay. You thought that was okay? Like I'm gonna try to find her and ask her. It's coming. She's coming? All right. Ah. No, she's ah. she's going. Ah. Oh man. She could be anywhere in the property by now. She wants to give the white one away? Why is he naughty? Yeah. Naughty? Yeah. Hey, you better watch it, man. You're gonna end up on somebody's plate. I'm just <laughs> letting you know. Hey, I would rather shovel what's there into the bottom of that and put, you're still gonna have a lot of fresh on top of that. And all right, we're gonna, I, I called Frank, I found out where he got it. So we're gonna head over there and then- uh, Do you have to take like a bucket of it? What? No. Yes. That's a great idea, actually. I will do that. Hey, you gotta take a five gallon pail of it to show, make sure you get the same exact stone. Why does a brand new sweeper look like that? I don't want that broken, man. I, know. I literally just bought it. It's got to be strapped to the thing. You guys break that one, I ain't getting another one. That's it. Junior, you're going to go with your dad. All right, you guys can start shoveling in on that side. I'll work here on these blocks. It's a pond, like a fountain. It'll have lights. It'll change colors with the fountain going. And then she's going to put like potted flowers around in the gravel. Guys here spraying the trees. This stuff's going all over the place. And he just breathes it in. It must not be toxic. Yeah, I'm just spraying a fungicide out. Interesting. Fungicide. Fungus. Yeah, I told him he's gonna come over and spray your toenails. All right, so that is done as far as we can get. Daryl's on his way back right now with the stone. We found out where it goes. Guys are just finishing putting the rest of that leftover into the bed there. I am glad that we did not pour concrete today. It's raining out and that would have been a problem. Right now, let me see what time it is. It's 11 o'clock. The guys would be finishing it right now. They would be on the slab, which would be a big problem. So made the right call. I was a little upset earlier that we couldn't pour but now I'm happy that I didn't run into a problem there. So Daryl should be back. We'll knock this out. We only got about, I don't know, 30 minutes left and then we're done. I made a decision now because of the rain that after we're done here, I'm gonna take the guys to lunch again and we're gonna call it a day because like I said before, I'm just not super motivated right now. Um, although in the back of my mind, we really need to get some work done. So next week I have a very, very full schedule got that big driveway to pour. I have two
patio projects, patio, sidewalks, they both have steps. And uh, then the week after that, I have a huge project we're starting. So we really need to kick it in gear. Next week, I'm gonna have to find my stride again and uh, just motivate myself and get going, so. Well, we're just waiting for Daryl and I'm glad we didn't pour concrete because it is raining. We would have lost the driveway in the rain. Really glad we didn't pour. It would have been covered with plastic, but if it doesn't stop, what are you gonna do? This is a perfect little job to do in the rain. Yeah. I mean, I don't care if I make money. It's just something to do. At least you guys get some hours. Yeah. Daryl's back. Did you have a nice trip? Uh, it was all right. Relaxing? No, uh, kind of. Yeah, yeah, garbage. Don't try to give us your garbage, man. <laughs> it's a present. Go put it in the truck in the garbage. Don't make other people do your work. Come on now. Let's just put it back on the truck for now and then we'll dump it wherever he wants it. Where's the checks? I need those before you go or somebody's gonna be mad. Name Eric and Francisco. He's already he's, re he's ready. He's already waiting for He's you. about look, to pop the if question. Does, if he does these looking at you, he's he's about to pop the question. You got my money? Alright, you got your this and go home. You're doing it. I don't know what's wrong with you today. I know. I go my grandson kept I gotta go home. Just because you stayed up one night, you're like that? Oh. Yeah. I don't get like that until two nights. Yeah. All right, we're all cleaned up. Hey, Eric, grab the push broom. This still isn't good enough. All right, have a good weekend. We'll see ya. It should be cool once you get your stuff in there. It would be better than it was, that's for sure. Yeah, jump in. I'll give you a ride to the road at least. You want me just to take them? I'll just take them. All right, we are back at the yard. You want to go to lunch? Yeah. I thought you were going to say sure. Hey, look at Daryl's trying to make it a little harder for you. <laughs> wow. Come on. Look at, he looks wide awake now we're done working. I know. No, I'm does. serious, doesn't he? He does. Look at, he looks wide awake. Oh yeah, stop pretending. All right, I'm going to treat Daryl, Daryl, and Francisco to some lunch of 52s. I brought Daryl Jr. in today solely for the purpose of putting a smile on my face. You want the Franny burger? Yeah. All right. <laughs> you gave somebody the wrong order? Ay, ay, ay. Come on. Oh, no. Combo. Fries, right? Yeah. Fries and a drink. Hey, you're getting a pretty big bubble, man. I know. You are. You better knock it off. You know what you look like? Harry Potter. Hi, Lynette. How are you? Good. Okay. I see you're going to eat all the chili lime. Oh, go ahead. No, no, I got the chipotle. You're gonna love that sauce. It's really good, man. Have a good weekend, Mike. Hey, you too. Yep, see you later. Okay, guys. Yep, see you, Charlie. Good to meet you.